Hello everyone. In this video we will discuss how to create and prepare an ER diagram for event tabulation system. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates. In today's digital era, we can accomplish our daily activities and tasks just by using our fingertips. This era introduced the use of computer technologies and the internet to navigate and complete our tasks and routines. The advent of technology is a real game changer. It replaced every manual operation with the use of a systematic and technology-assisted method. The first step in the development of the event tabulation system is to prepare the ER diagram that will serve as the basis later on in the creation of the actual database. We will create and explain the process of making the entity relationship diagram of event tabulation system. We will follow the three basic rules in creating the ER diagram. 1. Identify all the entities. 2. Identify the relationship between entities and 3. Add meaningful attributes to our entities. Step 1. Identify all entities. Entity is represented by the rectangle shape. The entity will be our database table of event tabulation system later on. In the event tabulation system we have the following entities. 1.users, 2.user accounts, 3.activities, 4.event, 5.contestants, 6.department, 7.criteria, 8.scores, 9.judges. After we have specified our entities, it is time now to connect or establish a relationship among the entities. 1.user belongs or has a specific user account type, 1 to 1 relationship. 2.user encode slash update slash manage the information about the activities, 1 to many relationship. 3.user encode slash update slash manage the information about the events, one to many relationship. 4.an activity consists of multiple events, one to many relationship. 5.an event has multiple contestants of participants, one to many relationship. 6.a contestant belongs to a specific team or department, one to one relationship. 7.the contestant will receive a score or rate from judge, one to many relationship. 8. An event consists of multiple criteria or way of rating and scoring, one to many relationship. 9. A judge will be assigned for every event, one to one relationship. 10. A criteria requires a score or rate, one to one relationship. 11. The judge will input a score for, one to many relationship. The last part of the ERD process is to add attributes to our entities. Users entity has the following attributes, 1.user id dash primary key represented with underline 2.first name 3.middle name 4.last name 5.username 6.password user account entity has the following attributes, 1.ic id dash primary key represented with underline 2.user id dash foreign key 3.type activities entity has the following attributes, 1.user id dash primary key represented with underline event entity has the following attributes, 1.act id dash primary key represented with underline 2.name 3.start date 4.end date 5.user id dash foreign key contestant entity has the following attributes 1.contestant id dash primary key represented with underline 2.name 3.gender 4.department id dash foreign key 5.event id dash foreign key department entity has the following attributes 1.department id dash primary key represented with underline 2.name 3.description criteria entity has the following attributes 1.criteria id dash primary key represented with underline 2.name 3.percentage 4.event id dash foreign key scores entity has the following attributes 1.score id dash primary key represented with underline 2.criteria id dash foreign key 3.event id dash foreign key 4.judge id dash foreign key 5.contestant id dash foreign key 6.score judges entity has the following attributes 1.judge id dash primary key represented with underline 2.full name 3.gender 4.event id dash foreign key 5.username 6.password Entity relationship diagrams illustrate the relationships between entities in a database. This can be helpful in understanding how the data is organized and how it can be accessed. Additionally, ER diagrams can help in designing and creating a database. Finally, ER diagrams can be used for data analysis and reporting. Entity, a thing or concept that is represented in a database by a row in a table. Entity relationship, 
the association between entities in a database. ER diagram, a type of entity relationship diagram that shows the relationships between tables and columns in a database. The ER diagram design for event tabulation system will be a great help and source of information in the next stage of the project which will be the actual database design. Thank you for watching. For more free capstone projects ideas and resources, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates on our channel. You may also reach us on our Facebook page and website.